Hello, my fellow Gungeoneers! Welcome and all to some more Enter the Gungeon! And I am feeling good this time. You know, I had a I had a little foray, I had a little peruse into the first few floors, saw some terrifying things, and well, things that quite frankly I've had to suppress for not waking up with night terrors, but now now I'm I'm believing. You know, I'm 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 focused. I'm I'm ready. I'm not going to forsake my training. <laughs> And I am going to complete a goddamn gungeon, for my name is not Terence. Yes, in deed. I I don't know. My name could be Terence. I wonder. I wonder. Actually, like this. Th th I'll be real. I'll be real with you, because I'm not going to be fake. Because that's later. Imagine if you were a different name when you were born. So, you know, maybe your name is Martin. Let's say you were born as a Steve. Would that have changed your life? Like, would that actually have made a difference? Because potentially it might do, because people might subconsciously favor one name or another. So you might have not met someone, or you might have different friends, or... You know, there's also the chance it's made absolutely no bloody difference whatsoever. But I think it's kind of interesting to think. So imagine your life is reset and only... What is the point of this giant majestic room other than to be giant and majestic? Which I guess is a fairly valid purpose. A lot of money, time and effort across multiple ages of humanity has been spent making things look giant and majestic for the simple sake of them being giant and majestic. But that is not the point. Uh, what is the point? is imagine a small little detail changed when you were a baby. Would it have affected where you've ended up now? Something something as minuscule as, for, for example, your hair colour is changed and uh, you no longer you no longer have whatever hair colour you do. Would that have changed things? Now, I feel like there's a blonde joke in here somewhere, but I'm going to take the high road and not mention it because probably the blondes watching wouldn't get it anyway. Hey! <laughs> I couldn't resist. I really couldn't. But I wonder, I wonder what kind of effect that would have. I, I often think that's interesting because a lot of uh, movies and shows and stuff they show massive uh, alterations in time. You know, stuff with obviously big ramifications. But I don't think the, uh, I don't think the essence of exploring just a minor alteration has really been done. I mean, there was a film called The Butterfly Effect. I don't know if you guys have seen it, where someone kept going back in time and changed an event, but that was still fairly big, like, they prevented a dog from dying that otherwise would have done, so they prevented their friend from going down the path of a psycho, which, you know, it is inherently a small thing to make a dog that was dead alive, that I accept, ooh, a ring, but you know, it's not the kind of tiny change that I'm talking about, no burns. Alright, well, I mean, it doesn't sound massively useful, but at the same time, a part of me is obviously happy that I am supposedly no longer going to be set on fire. And yes, I'm moonwalking with the best of them, isn't that right, Poochie? Of course, that is what I've named my dog, because that is the best dog name going. So we've not found a better weapon for us yet on this run, which does kind of suck. It really does. I was hoping to get something with as much firepower as what we ha had uh, last time, but alas, alack, is not to be. Yes, indeed. We found our boss, so we've got that there. So I'm going to teleport over to the revolver in this room, and uh, I think fully exploring the floors definitely does have a lot of merit. You know, I, I very much think that's something we should do each time. So, we'll kill these books and, uh, well, we'll tell them to book it. <laughs> I know. I know. All right, so we found the shop. I mean, he's going to sell us a gun, but at the same time, do we able to even afford it? Oh, we can get the blunderbuss. And the thing is, actually, no, I'd rather have the key because I'd rather have the option of finding a better gun. I, I think it's risky to do that, obviously, because we might end up not finding anything worthwhile and we might regret our decisions. Is that the Bullet King's wife? The Bullet Queen? That's kind of awesome that that's a thing. It really is. That is very neat. Okay, that book hath been slain. 
so is that one, and I think we're about to get ourselves a new chest. Yes, we are. Hey, all right, what are you? The wind-up gun. Okay. That doesn't seem too bad, to be fair. You know, that, that seems like it's got some fairly decent firepower. So let's head back down to the boss and see what we can achieve. I'm excited to see who it's going to be. Oh, it's our friendly neighborhood gull. So I'm assuming there's like a pool of bosses like Isaac that we have a random one depending on the floor that we're on. So let's dance, you manly, manly bird. Oh. God, it just really, really manly. Okay. Ooh, I think this is looking good. We're doing a lot of damage. I mean, the thing about this gun is it seems to be very, very inaccurate if you are just letting it spam, which kind of obviously sucks. Yeah, he's doing his missiles. That should be fine. So actually, immune to burning is immunity to those like fiery patches on the floor that we saw last time. Incidentally, I've not had, I've not been able to read your responses to the last video. So if there's any major tips that I'm ignoring, it's because of that. And I do apologize. I've just been having to really prepare videos for you guys for going away, and uh, I wasn't expecting to get such an amazing response to enter the dungeon. So I've had to squeeze it. In a few little bits of guns and as much as I like squeezing guns in you know it was it's quite difficult making it fit that actually just sounds really really terrible doesn't it okay so we've got a lot of damage coming on him and we should to be fair be very much on our way to killing him there is a lot of uh, ammo in this thing so we can keep firing for days reload reload oh god that was terrible that that damage was awful the other two that i've taken i'm fairly happy with they were fine but that final hit that was just pathetic so we get ourselves some armor oh a full health what are you oh it's actually a gun i can shoot bees <laughs> Oh, that is awesome. I can shoot bees at people. Talk about telling someone to buzz off in the most literal of senses. All right, Gungeon proper, chamber two. Let's do this thing. Bees! <laughs> do they home? They do, and they repeatedly attack things. Bees! How do I find more bees? Bee ammo. I feel like that's not something we're going to be able to do because that would just be finding random bees around the place. Okay, dodge through that, dodge through that. Careful this time not to constantly fall myself uh, down various little uh, gaps in the floor. Ooh, that sucked. Uh, that very much sucked. Rest in peace, mine armor. It is kind of disconcerting having this many bees uh, swarming around me, though, because, I mean, it is terrifying to be swarmed by bees. I mean, little known story about me. I've once been chased by, granted it was a wasp, not a bee, but, I mean, they look kind of similar, and while bees are a lot nicer to be around, for the most part, uh, you know, it's easy to see why someone would be scared of one because of the other. Either way, I was quite young, living in Spain still, and I was at the top of a hill above the pool that we had on our land, and so this presumably... Yeah, that's really, really useful now that I think about it. So that is not bad. Fortunately, we can't get... Oh, no, it's just locked. Okay, we've not killed uh, that one over there. See, I do think that perhaps it's not actually that good of a gun. So I'm going to stop using it because I think we can get more output with some of the other ones. Let's try our best to not take a silly amount of damage in this room, which it does seem like we are working our way towards. It's very scary seeing all the bullets coming, swarming towards us. It really is. Okay, these guys seem interesting. Oh, they're like magic. That's very neat. They seem quite difficult to take, though, and we've got ourselves some more ammo. And we have found the shop as well, which is uh, awesome. Let's... Oh, no! No, I can't get to him! I can't get to him! I want to kill them before they obviously have a chance to fire, because they are very, very good at hitting you, because it slightly follows. No, 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 no! Yes! Okay, all right. He is dead. That is good. So can I get to the boss via this way? 
No, it still seems like I've uh, got some exploring to do. And, oh, got to bring down the grenades, got to bring down the grenades. So I was at the top of the hill above our pool in Spain, and uh, I heard this kind of buzzing. And, you know, I'm the type of person that hearing a wasp buzzing near them instills a kind of primal fear that I really can't get over that well. And I basically panicked like hell and started sprinting down the hill. Okay, so we found ourselves to the shop now. This is good. And the bee, ooh, the armor of thorns. The Mega Dowser and the Shot Grub. I'm going to try the armor of your body is a weapon. Let's have a look at that then, shall we? Greatly increases dodge roll damage. The barbs in this suit of armor are sort of worrying anyone's day. So I can roll into enemies and then that will result in them taking some damage. I still don't know what I'm wanting from the Prime Primer, but that... Does seem very good. All right, let's let's have a lazy teleport once again. So I'm there sprinting down this hill, convinced that I can still hear this uh, buzzing behind me. Roll! Oh! Okay, that is actually really quite good. That just one shot both of them rolling through them. Not that one. So, okay, yeah, I think it's a little bit gimmicky. I think the Armor of Thorns is definitely not something that we'd want to rely on more than anything else. I think it's probably going to get us killed if I try and use it too much. So, there we go. But it's nice to know it exists as the item because the thing is, until we buy everything, use it, and decide actually how good it is, we have no idea what gems we might find. So, imagine me sprinting. Oh, what are you? Lowercase r. Oh, it's an alphabet gun! It's like a hand oozy alphabet gun! Oh man, that is incredible. That is just incredible. I know my story is getting distracted, but holy hell. Alright, let's do our boss then. Oh, new boss! Medusa! What's it gonna be? What's her name? Uzis. The Gorg Gun. <laughs> oh, this is cool. This is very, 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 very cool. Okay, we'll try and letter her to death, though. Seems to be doing a very, oh my god, Terrible damage, and now we've got some more Uzi. You know what? I'm going to go to... Ah, I was too busy focusing on changing weapon there, and I didn't end up... Uh... Oh, that does damage to us. Oh, no. Oh, I feel like we're screwed. I'm going to have to use a, a blank there. It didn't even really do anything for me. Still ridiculously difficult, and she's not even hurt. I thought at the very least that I could take whatever boss it is on the health that I had, but yeah, I mean, that is wow. <laughs> God damn. God damn. That is insane. Absolutely insane. So me sprinting down a hill, hearing this buzzing behind me, unable to, you know, think for the fear gripping my soul. I get to the pool at the bottom of the hill and then just like heroically, I say heroically, cowardly, forward dive into it, splashing down and refusing to surface, holding my breath for as long as I could, uh, terrified that this wasp was just waiting above the waters to sting the crap out of me. Uh, there was just, there was nothing I could do. Just nothing I could do. I'm not sure how I managed to take damage there. That kind of sucks, but at the same time, I suppose I understand. This game definitely has some serious learning curve to it, and uh, it makes me very happy it does, but holy hell, it's terrifying getting to a new boss and having no idea how to fight it, because obviously, I completely destroyed the Gatling Ghoul, because I've experienced it before, but the Gorgon, I'm not inherently sure how I'm even going to take it, if I'm truly honest with you, at least not without some pretty good power-ups, but then again, I could have been a lot stronger that time, like I could have bought different things from the shop, and especially now that I know about the armor, I'm not going to waste money on it again, which is obviously an important thing. 
Oh, he really has nothing going on for us this time. So we need to find ourselves a chest area. We've got two keys. See if we can grab a gun. Normally, of course, I would end a Gungeon run when I died. But I don't want to leave you guys. If I die before two bosses, then we'll go again. That'll be my general rule at the moment while I'm still trying to get good on this game. Oh, the slimes injure me. Interesting. I thought they were just supposed to be annoyances when they got to little slime mode. But... I suppose that is not true. And goodbye to him. I do really like this gun. I'm, I'm thinking maybe I should use it a little bit more, honestly. Maybe against some more bosses. Because I think a lot of the time it is just going to be better than the stuff we're kind of finding. And what are you? Cog of battle. Active reload. Okay. I don't understand. Ah, so I just can reload faster because I've got this now. Interesting. I mean, that's not that fantastically amazing, if I'm honest with you. I mean, yeah, it lets you fire a lot more. I love that the bosses are in pictures around the place. Okay. Maybe I want that. Actually, I know. I think I need to go find an extra weapon. I, I think that is definitely something that we should invest in. Or hell, even grabbing the potion might be pretty good. See, now I'm just going to feel bad that I'm not uh, doing my active reload because I'm not used to having it. So it just makes it look like I'm terrible. Granted, I am terrible, but I don't need help showing off that fact, game. And in comes some more little bullets. They are fine. Not much of a threat. Looking good. And these guys, again, should be all right. Just a little bit of a dodge. And we are out of here. Ooh, this one-shots them. So maybe this does a lot more damage than I give it credit for, thinking about it. Ooh, yes! What are you? Okay, the hegemony rifle. So precise. Doesn't feel that precise, if I'm honest with you. It seems a little bit kind of all over the place, but, you know, I will, I will attempt to believe. I mean, we'll see how much damage it does. That's obviously a main... Uh, deal so yeah let's go to the boss then i think one item and one gun seems to be about the right requirement to fighting the boss and bullet king no oh what are they the trigger twins interesting well let's do this thing so how much damage are they going to take? That's the question. So it's basically boss versions of the main enemies. And yeah, look, they share their health bars. So once we've got rid of one of them, then obviously the other one's going to become a lot easier. Okay, we can't one-shot the little tiny enemies. So this gun definitely does do a distinctly low amount of damage. So we'll actually go to our crossbow and uh, see how it can do it. Maybe I should be really happy... To, yeah, as soon as I started to smart reload, I take two freaking shots because you just, you can't focus on that many things at once, at least not while I am fairly new to this game. So obviously he's upset that I've, ah -ha! bollocks on a stick. God damn, I am so, so, so pathetically bad at this game right now. <laughs> I really am. Oh God. <laughs> Oh, I mean, in my defense, I am, like, so spacing out at the moment because I wasn't planning on doing any gungeon and I've had to squeeze it in and I am very sort of stressed and exhausted and it's just, haha, <laughs> but I, I don't want to say no to you guys and have you wait, like, a week before seeing a next couple gungeon episodes, so here we are. I hope you still enjoyed this and I hope you still had fun, but I swear to you that we will kill three bosses in one run next time. I promise you this. I swear it on my name. I will succeed. My name has been Rage. Like if you've enjoyed this. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you next Gungeon-y time. And let me know if you want me to use a different character, actually. I guess we should uh, see how they go as well. But yeah. Oh, good boy.